Thank you for visiting DIY Wedding Gowns. Today we are going to do a tutorial on how to make a bow tie. To give you some other inspiration using this technique, you can accessorize a bridal clutch or make a bow tie fascinator. Here are the ordinaries you will need in order to complete this project. If you need more time, feel free to pause and review the list. First you're going to print and cut the pattern, which is in the link below. Then place it on the fabric, pin, and cut. Now you're going to repeat with the interfacing, just using the large pattern. So after cutting, you should have two fashion fabrics, two interfacing, and one fashion fabric for the center strap. Now you're going to iron the interfacing onto the fashion fabric, using manufacturer's instruction. Now lay the fabric onto the pattern you've printed and you are going to fold it towards the center lengthwise using the lines on the pattern as your guideline. Now just take it off the paper pattern and iron press the fabric. Next lay it back onto the pattern and we are going to fold it towards the center widthwise. Now iron press that and repeat it for the other large fabric. So now you should have two rectangles. Next you are going to stitch the flaps down and then lay it on top of each other with the flap side facing each other. Now fold it in half and you are going to stitch the center about an inch long and it will look like this. See, it looks like a bow tie already, but we're not done yet. Next we're going to take the center strap, fold it in half, and stitch it along one side of the strap. Using the loop turner, flip the fabric inside out and then iron press with a center seam in the middle. You are going to place the center strap onto the front of the bow tie and then what you're going to do is you're going to take the bottom of the center strap and bring it up into the crease of the top fold and then take the top part and put it into that top fold and fold it over and then you're just going to stitch. Make sure you only stitch the center strap fabric and then stay stitch it at the end. Next, take a measurement of your neck leaving space for one finger. Add half an inch and this will be the length of your elastic band. For example, mine is 15 inches long and I will cut it at this length. Next, safety pin one end of the elastic band and pull it through the bow tie. You are going to stitch the end of the elastic bands together and you are complete. Thank you for visiting DIY Wedding Gowns. I hope you get inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. If you would like to learn how to formally tie a bow tie, please click on the image. If you would like to learn how to make the ring bear pillow or make the custom cuff links, please click on one of the glitter buttons.